Hey guys, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline and in today's video, I'm going to sneak you into the auction house. I have filmed there a few times and auction houses are getting really interesting. So as many of you know, the main way that I source for my eBay store or just for reselling in general are thrift stores followed by probably yard sales and where else. I think those two are my main ways to source. But more and more, I am going to live auctions. So here in Pennsylvania, a live auction can be great fun and the inventory is just amazing. Before I started going to auctions, I thought I was really gonna pay up for a lot of items, way more than what I pay in thrift stores. But I think you'll be surprised at how little I've paid for things and the profit that I've made on them. So hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we're going to an auction. Here we are at Bolt's Auction. This is their sign. Now they have items inside, outside, downstairs, and on the main floor. 269, that is the number of the lot. I really like this cast iron plant stand. That's probably gonna go high. Fireplace, uh, great. Oh, these are really unique, <laughs> kind of cute and some shelving, like a farmhouse bench and a park bench. All right, let's go inside and look at the smalls. These lamps are beautiful. I'm not sure what this is made out of. That is so interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Wow, love, 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 triple love this back one. That is phenomenal. So they look to be brass and I don't know guys, what is this material? This has got like a swirl through it. And look at this one. Wow, this is gorgeous. I bet you this goes for at least three or 400, if not more. I'm gonna try to look this one up before the bidding starts. This is a Millefori paperweight. This is what I was talking about a couple of videos ago. Reminds me of an old fashioned candy. These are just stunning. They should all be one lot and I will probably be bidding on these. What are these over here? Oh my goodness, this is heavy. Beautiful glass. I have never seen those before. Let's take a look at this one. No marking that I see. Okay, these are definitely going to be in the running. Blue and white china. Just marked Japan. Fiesta wear. Always lots of Fiesta wear. Oh, I have a tendency to really like glass grapes. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I'm going to look these up. I'll probably be bidding on these. A little pink pear. I have sold things like this before. I'm not sure about it being in this container. Look at that. I'm not going to even try to turn it upside down with one hand. Be really careful about that. Some vases. That's a pretty one. The ring on the bottom seems to have some age to it. Let's take a look at the other ones. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, so this one is marked. I think that says made in Japan. I'm gonna have to put some glasses on to be able to tell. Beautiful items. A little footed planter. What are these? I'm not quite sure of what this is. Is that a candle holder? Oh, I feel like I should know what this is. This might be Roseville. I don't know if Roseville is, um, is always marked or if sometimes it has a sticker. Not quite sure. Look at this tray lot. 
little hand carved. I guess these are eggs. And the frog. Oh, I think this is one of the frogs that makes noise. Not quite sure how it works. Very interesting. It's a beautiful tray of, I think this is Stangle. Yeah, Stangle pottery. I like the picture. I don't know that this would bring a lot. Terra Rose. Especially like this one. Look at that curly Q handle. Just beautiful. Stangle USA 3211. So pretty. A tray of birds. What does that say on the bottom? Oh. Yeah, I think this is Stangle too. I should put my glasses on. I was running to get here, so I'm lucky I got here on time. Oh, he's sweet. A doorstop. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. I might want him. More blue china. All right, I think we're gonna come around this way. So Roger texted me and I think he is gonna show up. He is out thrifting right now. We both have a lot of self-discipline, so we should do well. Oh, I like this tile picture. That is beautiful. Now I don't know if the all the artwork will be in this auction, not quite sure. And I have no idea who this is. It is a painting of Mao Zedong. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh dear, the ship is lovely. Look at that painting there. That is beautiful. Kind of dark, it looks like it might need to be cleaned and it does have damage, but that is a pretty one. Okay, lots of tins. I know nothing about tins. But I would imagine with Google Image, you could look these up. And tins are highly collected. So that is good. I'm gonna scoot around this way. Different tray lots, interesting items. This basket is lovely. See, you know, this is not on a tray, so I don't think this is gonna be by itself. It won't be with other ones. We have a cookie press. I will be bidding on these. I just sold a lot of these. Mine were cookie cutters. And these are more like a cookie stamp. Very old, beautiful. Look at this frog. Oh wow, he is very good. Yeah, this tray is gonna be on my radar right here. I'm hoping they keep all of that together. What is this here? Oh, I really like this. Okay, so it looks to be maybe a sea otter. But it's like a bowl, beautiful. Right next to it, this vase. It's kind of like opalescent lusterware. No marking. Here are the tin toys that I saw online. Jumbo the elephant. A tray of uranium glass. I don't think I even need a flashlight for this. Just beautiful. A little bud vase. A compote dish. That'll be nice if the whole tray stays together and comes up together. This is lovely. little perfume bottle. A lot of times the dauber is cracked, so you really have to examine them carefully. Unmarked, nice heavy glass though. This is a knife rest. <laughs> Amazing that a lot of people use like microwave meals and paper plates and Victorians had a different tool or a different implement for every single purpose in life. Here's a little salt cellar individual servings of salt to salt your food. There's some Hummels, a tray of Hummels. I often see these in the thrift stores. 
Okay, this is lovely. Do I want to ship this? No, won't be bidding on that. <coughs> Tray of wooden, carved wooden pieces. Some brassware. What is this? Christopher Columbus. Oh, they're having a fine art auction. 12.8. Look at that cat. Just lovely. Shiny bright ornaments. I can't believe I'm so old that when I see ornaments like this, I'm like, oh, we had those <laughs> when I was young. A grouping of little vases. Denmark. Oh, the pig is very good. We like the pig. Do we like a good pig? Yes, we do. I'm afraid to pick him up. Okay, he is stamped. After I shut the camera off, I will try to take a picture of this and see who this is, but that is amazing. Love him. Different glass. I think this is purple. I don't think this is a cranberry glass. Pyrex. Nesting bowls. Beautiful chests of flatware. I would imagine this is silver plate. I use replacementslimited.com to identify the pattern when I have a big set like this. Okay, I saw these in the preview online, and I'm not sure who's making these. Very interesting. So it's like a salt glaze. I, I don't know that I've ever seen the ornaments. 1997, so not especially old. More nesting balls. The shaker boxes are very good. Is there a name on the bottom? Mm, that one looked smudged. Let's try the next one down. No name. I might be bidding on those. Those are always a good seller for me. A lot of salt pottery, salt glazed pottery. And a very big grouping of Longa Burger. It'll be interesting to see how they're going to auction this. I don't think they're going to auction it all together. They'll probably do lots of it, maybe. Wow, guys, look at the showcases. Just beautiful. This is an online auction, so you can come here and look at the pieces in person. I think this is all Roseville. I don't know pottery well enough, but boy, is this gorgeous. How beautiful. Imagine if this was one person's collection. Yeah, it is all Roseville. Okay, so the preview, December 16th from 9 to 1. Today is the 28th. Online auction and Saturday, December 17th. I might take a look at this online. Some especially good pieces here. Okay, on to furniture. I've been thinking about getting a dining room set, but I don't know that I want to do that. Right now I just have the YouTube table and I'm kind of happy with it. <laughs> I have bought a few pieces here. I bought the big church stained window, which I did sell for a profit, but oh, that was, that was amazingly big. I think that window was like three feet by four feet. And, um, and that I had to have the buyer come to the house, but I had it in my garage. This is lovely. I wonder what kind of wood this is. Did somebody strip this? I've never seen a hope chest like this in like this unfinished. Maybe it's been refinished. This looks to be arts and crafts, maybe, with a tile inset. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this with the chairs. Not really my style, but boy, that's gorgeous. This would look lovely in like an Adirondack New York cabin. 
Yeah, definitely arts and crafts, I'm going to guess. That's a guess. Okay, we have lamps further down. Let's take a look at these lamps. Up, oh, I see a lady lamp. Did I ever sell that lady lamp? I think I did. I've had one or two of them. Um, and I think one of them I got here. I don't remember. This is just a brass one. I don't know that that's especially good. I do like that painting up there. Very dark and moody. Again, fine auction art. I don't think you really have to be that knowledgeable to identify beautiful art. It's just gorgeous. What is this made out of? Oh, it's like a like a paper almost. Huh, I wonder if somebody would want that. It's very hard to look things up when you don't know what it's called. It's not fiberglass. Maybe that is fiberglass. All right, guys, I'm going to sit my butt down and do research to um, recognize what I'm going to actually bid on. Now, when bidding starts, a lot of times I jump into auctions where I didn't really put the item down on my list, but um, I recognize it, you know, when he starts the auction. This piano stool is wonderful. Look at the claw ball feet with the little glass um, balls. Beautiful. I'll be interested to see what this goes for. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's start the auction. Olive loves, loves it. What do you get, 25, uh, Liza? Did you get the recorder going? I believe so. Okay. All right, you're on this one. A nice, clean, uh, what do you get, 20, 30, 30, you get 30, what do you get, 40, you get 40, what do you get, 50, you get 50, what do you get, 60, you get 70, 70, you get 80, you get 80, 90, you get 90, 80, you get 90, 80, you get 90, 80, you get 90. Anybody else on this one for $90? $80, then I want to get $90, then I have 80 bid, what do you get, $90, then I want to get 90? $80, then buyer number one. Lot 300, lot 300. We have an octagonal, highly carved uh, occasional table. Couple little losses to the uh, caning, but wow, what a table that one uh, will attract attention. Hey, when you get a hundred dollars, they don't get fifty, don't get fifty, when you get twenty-five. Twenty-five, don't get twenty-five, ten, don't get twenty, don't get twenty, when you get thirty, when you get forty, when you get fifty, when you get sixty, when you get seventy, don't get seventy, when you get eighty, don't get ninety, don't get ninety, when you get ninety. Ninety dollars, eighty dollars, they don't get ninety. Anybody else selling this one? Ninety dollars, they don't get ninety, eighty dollars, they don't get ninety. Nice looking table, ninety dollars. Ninety dollars, then ninety, ninety, eighty dollars. All right, and here are the items I actually won at the auction. So the first item was being auctioned outside. This is one of the first pieces I showed in the video, is this gorgeous spiral Victorian plant stand. Each one has a bird. I believe this is cast iron, very heavy. And how many pots does it hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was thrilled to win this $9. Yep, couldn't believe it. I'm expecting this should do probably over $100. So this was a great win. Right after that piece, other plain stands came up and I wound up bidding on those because I figured it was gonna go for about the same price point. I think there were two people bidding, myself and somebody else. $7, I got two plain stands, I'm gonna grab them. So I will just hold up the one so you can see it, fairly large. This will be local pickup, I won't ship these. And I got two of them for $7, so $3.50 a piece. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get for these. I'm gonna sell them together. I'm thinking probably about the $90 mark. I'll report back on Instagram of what these items bring. I don't buy a lot of Stangle pottery, but when it came up, I won it for $25 for the tray. Sometimes items that don't necessarily bring a lot, if there are enough pieces on the tray and the buy-in price, the winning bid, is low enough, I'll go ahead and get into the bidding. And that's what happened here. So I'm gonna show you a few pieces of the Stangle. I got this picture, and I'm gonna show you the bottom so you can see what it looks like. Also this picture, I love the shape of this one, so pretty. Again, they won't bring a lot, I'm thinking maybe $12 to $15. 
This one might bring a little bit more because it's a leaf pattern. I think this Stengel pottery that has leaves like this um, does a little bit better. So there is that one. And this is what the bottom looks like. I think it's called Terra Rose or something like that. Uh, yeah, Terra Rose. Okay, so I got those three pieces. And then I got a series of these little dishes on the same tray. This one here, little pansy. Uh, again, another pansy. And this last one. I think also on that tray was this trivet. I don't know whether to attribute this to Stangel Pottery. So if you know Stangel Pottery, leave a comment down below if you think this is, you know, made by them. I really like this. I thought this was very cool. So $25 for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. You can't beat that. I think I'll get my money back and uh, plenty of profit too. The next lot of items that I won, I was so happy I won them, and they are these paperweights. I love these glass paperweights. So here is the first one. It's got like a little daisy, daisy thing going on inside. So that is number one. This one came on the tray also. Now these are not marked, so I don't imagine I'm going to be able to identify, you know, who's made them, whether they're Murano or there's another famous company that did a lot of paperweights. Uh, begins with a P. I can't remember it right now. And I got this one, Millefori. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the one that reminded me of the hard candy last time I talked about that. I will insert a screenshot of what candy I'm talking about. It's just like a hard rock candy that's usually a flower design. And um, I used to eat that as a child at the holiday times. On that tray also, I got this egg uh, paperweight. Like I said, none of these are marked. And what did I pay for? This one actually has a drill hole in the middle. So it's supposed to have the hole. Doesn't look like there's anything, you know, um, damaged about it. All right, so it was those three on the tray. What did I pay for those? I paid $54 for the four. So I thought that was great because those should bring, I'm thinking probably $30 to $40 each. And that kind of profit is great because they're easy to ship, easy to list. And like I said, I won't attribute them to any uh, specific maker. All right, the next uh, group of items was another tray lot. And I'm going to pick up the biggest piece. Now this is a Roseville pot and somebody has fixed in these glass flower sculpture pieces. I feel like this is going to be desirable anyway, but because the two are put together, I wasn't quite sure about this, but I was willing to bid on it because of these. Whoops. So I have sets of grapes that are in alabaster glass. And I have sold these before and done well with them. So I got the two sets of grapes, the floral piece in the Roseville pot. I think this might be a plum. Oh, I'm not going to even try to name fruit. I got a bunch of it. <laughs> a banana. And um, I'm probably going to sell all of the fruit pieces. There are more down here. I have quite a few. Together, the grapes will be separate and then the Roseville pot. And did I say what I paid for those? Let me see what that invoice says. Um, glass grapes decor, $60. So how many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have eight pieces, nine. Nine pieces. So um, again, I was thrilled with that. All right, I have a lot going on today, so we're just gonna blow through the rest. I'll tell you what I know, but a lot of it I don't know much about, other than I ran comps on it, and that's how I'm telling what the items are. The next up is a primitive basket lot, and I got this basket. This is called Pine Needles, and that is what it looks like. I think this is an older one. I have sold these before, so I got this first piece. This funny little box. I tried getting the lid off, but it almost seems like it's either been glued on or it wasn't meant to come off, but something tells me it's been glued on. And I wasn't really bidding for this, but it's an extra, so I'll take it. This adorable little primitive vintage basket, I think again, this is pine needles. 
Can you imagine sitting like outside making baskets out of pine needles? <laughs> My mind can't even think of that. That's just amazing. And this little basket, again, I think this is made out of pine needles. And in this one, I was lucky enough to get an identifying card that says Chief Blue Jay's Indian Store on the in something Indian Reservation. I won't even try to pronounce that. Old Town, Maine. So this is great. It gives me a starting point to do my research and I'm hoping that the items that were together all came from this store, but I don't know. I don't even know if there's a website for this, um, you know, Indian store. So we'll have to see about that. Did I get any other pieces? I think it was just the one, two, three, four pieces, just making sure I have everything. And what did I pay for that? Small baskets. The auction house is attributing it to rye. They called it rye. But the woman typing in the lots and the winning bidder, she's just trying to put an identifying title. She's not the researcher. And I paid $25 for all of them. So I was really excited about that. All right, the next lot, tray lot, was a primitive, I call it primitive items tray lot. And the first piece is this rolling pin. I do think the rolling pin is all one piece. I know when a rolling pin is all one piece and it's hand carved, a lot of times they can bring um, more money. The only problem with items like this, very hard to tell exactly how old it is. So I will just call it primitive, rustic, I might throw in early American with a question mark. So it's this first piece. The next piece I really love, this hand carved dipper. On that tray also came this little, I'm going to call it a cheese slicer. And that is what that loves. I love the wing nut on the end. <laughs> and I thought there was a fourth piece, yes. This chopper thing, not even it's some sort of knife to chop with. And again, I'm gonna to have to do research. I don't see any markings on them, but very happy with that tray lot that I won that. And I'm looking for what I paid for that. Small baskets, tray of decorative entree, prim, primitive kitchen wares, $35. So I got four pieces for $35. I was really happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna check the invoice because I don't know what I paid for two butter prints, $17. I am very into cookie cutters, cookie molds, butter prints, butter molds, all those types of things. This is, I believe this is a butter, butter press. I think you could use it for a cookie dough too. I'm not sure about that. It might make a funny shaped cookie because there's no perimeter to hold the dough in, but I picked up that one and this one. They seem quite old, $17. I'm gonna sell them individually. If you saw my last video, I did post about the, um, the cookie cutters that I sold. Cookie cutters, cookie molds, something like that. And um, those brought great profits. So I'm very into that whole niche and just trying to learn quickly and move on to the next you know, set of items to learn about. All right, what else do I wanna talk about? We're only gonna do one or two more. I'm gonna grab this piece here. Now, I did not see this before the auction. It might have been there and I just missed it, but the minute they started to pick this up from the background, I was like, oh, what is that? And I stopped talking to, I was with Roger on one side and my girlfriend Stephanie on the other and Bill from Frog and the Gnome. He was at the auction. Also, we wound up bidding against each other. I was like, Bill, you should have told me you were bidding. I would have stopped. Um, but I did win this one. None of my friends were bidding on it. I love pieces like this, like tribal art. And let me remember what this is called. I think it's called I'm going to get my phone and check it out to give you the right name because I've never picked this up before. I've never seen it. I had no information about it. Purely by instinct, I picked this up and I think it's a good one. Okay, so when I saw it come up on the auction block, I was like, oh, what is that? And I wound up winning it for, let me see if I can find this here, $25. Yep, $25. 
I didn't even know what I had won, but I knew it was good. I felt it was good. And I went up front, I got it, you know, I met the carrier halfway and brought it back. And of course, Stephanie, I'm going to leave her information linked in this video too. She is so knowledgeable. Stephanie, my girlfriend, sells in three different um, markets, I'm going to call it. They're, they're vendor booths. What do we call that? Antique centers. And she told me, oh, that looks like Mola weaving. I'm like, Mola, how are we spelling that? I'm always asking everybody a million questions. She said M-O-L-A. Sure enough, I'll insert the screenshots. Vintage Kuna Mola Panama hand-sewn reverse applique fabric art. And I thought the colors were fantastic. That's what made me bid on it. I'll insert a few screenshots to show you what kind of prices this artwork is bringing. But I love that I trusted my eye, that it was just pure impulse, just jumped into the bidding. It could have turned out that it had a stain or a rip because I did not look at it beforehand. I don't suggest you do that. But once in a while, I take a chance, and I'm so glad I did. All right, so the last item that I want to show you is not really a collectible. It is a boxed Christmas tree. I had no plans on buying a Christmas tree for resale, but the other day when I went to, I think it was Home Depot, I realized how expensive Christmas trees are right now, and I thought, okay, if it doesn't work out selling this one, I could put it up in my house because I have not even put up a tree yet, but I thought, wow, that's a great deal. $17, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so here it is. Woo! It is very heavy. I'm gonna put it down. Oh, it is a Martha Stewart. It was sold at Kmart, four and a half feet tall. It comes with like a pot. It comes pre-lit with lights that last a thousand hours and it has some berries on it. That's all I know about it. It's already listed on Facebook Marketplace. You gotta love items that you get. Um, like I said, $17. You just take a few pictures of the box, done. So in the end, if it doesn't sell, which I'm pretty sure it will, I think I put it on for 60 Facebook Marketplace, and I'm guessing I'm gonna take about 55. I might not be able to sell it, but at least I'll have a Christmas tree. All right, guys, that's it for today. As you can tell, I'm rushing. I have a full day, but I wanted to include this little portion to show you what items I actually won. There were a few more items that I did win. Altogether, I spent $321, which is very good for me, not bad at all. And definitely I'm expecting to triple or quadruple my money, but it will take a while. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.